Hello everyone, uh, tonight is the 30th night of the Omer, it's the 15th of Iyar. Tonight we will bring two alakho discussing things that can or cannot be done in the bathroom while using the restroom, and also just by being in the bathroom alone. Before we get into the alakho, I just want to remind our followers and our readers and whoever else is listening that we do CLD fundraising projects. And we're currently working on organizing and funding for to help out publish a book, a sefer, a, not a sefer Torah, but a sefer of kedusha on halachot by a rabbi in Yerushalayim that I personally um, uh, was taught uh, from, and uh, we we actually have one hundred seventy dollars in the in the funding. We need to raise, God willing, four hundred dollars. So we're $230 away. If anyone wants to donate, you can donate on the blog, the cld.org. Anyway, let's talk about these other because they're interesting. The first one is, they're both from Yerkut Yosef. The first one talks about actually speaking in the bathroom. So the Yerkut Yosef writes that someone that is in the bathroom may not allow to speak with the person that's outside the bathroom. Let's say there's a stall or a bathroom closed door. Someone using the bathroom is not allowed to speak to a person that's outside the bathroom. Um, also, someone's not allowed to answer to the phone on the, in the bathroom. Um, but there is an exception. Someone who hears their phone ringing and they want to answer, they could answer and completely be, uh, say as minimal words as possible for, uh, for things that have to do with... Um, with anything that's like monetary loss, like if you can't pick up this this call, you're gonna lose money, or if you can't pick up this call, there's gonna be some type of like issue with someone's sake that you have, you could have helped, something like that. So you can pick up the phone in those cases if you can help someone for sickness, or if you're gonna lose money if you don't answer the phone. But you have to dwindle completely, say as little words as possible. Um, and and someone who's lenient and picks up a phone has something to uh, to to uh, to they, they, what they're doing is okay and they have someone to lean on they have like a like a tana or a, or a posek in the in the Torah that they can uh, that 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 holds that someone can t- can pick up the phone. Um, however, um, even if someone is in their home, they're not allowed to speak on in their bathroom to people that are in their home. It's not it's not an issue of formal or informal or someone that you have to respect. It's just an issue of bathroom is no speaking. That's it. Um, the second, uh, and, or, uh, and by the way, I'm sorry, someone who's in the bathroom uh, room, let's say there's like a stall and like you're outside the stall but you're still in the bathroom, Some you're allowed to speak with someone in regards of things to the bathroom, like get me more soap or, or do you have any uh, toilet paper, things like that. You're, not, you're allowed to say that. Um, even though we know that uh, learning Torah is not allowed, even thinking Torah in the bathroom is not allowed, but there is an exception, and this exception is brings us to the second halacha in Yerkut Yosef. The second one states that if someone has any temptation or lust or anything that has to do with sexual immorality, God forbid, or women thinking about thoughts that are inappropriate and, and profanity-filled, then they're allowed to think of Torah in the bathroom to get those thoughts out. Why? The reason is, if you have two prohibitions, the, I'm using this for this case, I don't know the, the, the borders and the boundaries for this law, this, this concept, but for this case it's holding like this. If you have two prohibitions, if one is stronger than the other, you're allowed to, to violate one to save yourself from the other. So now in this case, you're not allowed to think Torah thoughts in the bathroom. But you have the prohibition of thinking about women, thinking about things that are profanity or sexual immorality in your mind, God forbid, then you're allowed to go and think about Torah to violate the not, no Torah in the bathroom rule in order to save yourself from a, from an Im, uh, impure thought. So Hashem, with that, we should be pure and uh, and always focus on our purity because that's the most important thing for the Jewish nation. Thank you so much. Check us out on, on Facebook, the CLD.org, and please spread the word. We just want to grade in your connection and our connection with Hashem. Thank you so much. Have a great night.